What happens if you drive with a bad O2 sensor? And how to tell it's failing? Is your check engine light on with no obvious symptoms? Or maybe your fuel economy has dropped and your car just doesn't feel right? Well, the oxygen sensor, also called the O2 sensor, might be the sneaky culprit. In this video, we'll break down what the O2 sensor actually does, the signs it's failing, what happens if you keep driving with it, and how to fix it without spending a fortune. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss more useful car tips like this one. What is an oxygen O2 sensor? Your O2 sensor monitors the amount of oxygen in your exhaust gases. It sends real-time data to the engine control unit, AQ, helping it adjust the air-fuel ratio for efficient combustion, lower emissions, and better fuel economy. Modern cars have two to four O2 sensors, usually upstream, before the catalytic converter, and downstream, after it. Symptoms of a bad O2 sensor Here's how you'll know it's acting up. 1. Check engine light, cell, often triggers codes like P0130P0161. 2. Rough idle or engine hesitation, especially when accelerating. 3. Increased fuel consumption, your AQ overcompensates by dumping extra fuel. 4. Failed emissions test, your vehicle may emit more pollutants. 5. Rotten egg smell, if it damages your catalytic converter. 6. Poor engine performance, loss of power or sluggish response. What happens if you keep driving with it? You can still drive with a bad O2 sensor, but here's why you really shouldn't. 1. Wastes of fuel. A faulty sensor feeds your engine bad data, making it run rich or lean. 2. Increased emissions. Your car becomes less eco-friendly and could fail emissions tests. 3. Catalytic converter damage. Running rich for too long can cause unburnt fuel to overheat the cat, leading to expensive repairs. More codes and damage. Other sensors and components, like spark plugs, suffer. In short, it costs more to ignore than to fix. How to diagnose and fix it. 1. Use an OBD2 scanner. Look for codes like P0130, P0135, P0141, etc. 2. Live data check. Scan tool can show erratic voltage, should swing between approximately 0.1 volts to 0.9 volts. 3. Visual inspection. Check for damaged wires or a contaminated sensor. Fix. Replace the faulty sensor often costs between $50 to $150. Make sure to use OEM or trusted aftermarket parts for accurate readings. Frequently Asked Questions, FAQs 1. Can I clean an O2 sensor instead of replacing it? Not recommended. Once it's contaminated or damaged, it rarely regains accuracy. 2. How long does an O2 sensor last? Most last between 60,000 to 100,000 miles, Always check your owner's manual. 3. Will a bad O2 sensor damage the engine? Not directly, but it causes poor combustion and can lead to catalytic converter damage, which is costly. 4. Can I pass emissions with a bad O2 sensor? Unlikely. If the O2 sensor isn't functioning properly, your emissions levels will likely be too high. So, in conclusion, if your check engine light is on and your fuel economy is taking a hit, don't wait. A faulty oxygen sensor might be the issue, and fixing it early can save your wallet, your engine, and even the environment. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment with your questions, and subscribe for more car repair insights every week. Stay tuned, up next, we're diving into the symptoms of a lean running engine and what it means for your ride. Thanks for watching, and drive safe.